What is up my friends? Welcome back to another video. And today we're gonna to be taking a look at Straight Ahead Sample's newest library called the Eminent Trombone. They really have a good knack of coming up with interesting names for their products, especially like the, the newest stuff, uh, the flagship products that are part of like the big band jazz combo type of instruments. They've had other uh, products in the past, smaller libraries like bongos and congas, basses, uh, more percussion oriented stuff. But ever since they started launching the bigger instruments like the trumpet, the tenor sax, and the trombone now, uh, they've really kind of elevated themselves to a standard where people will always consider them for big band writing. Um, you know, in addition to like, let's say audio modeling or sample modeling, um, Glory Days, big band horns, um, you know, all this stuff. You know, the, the, the technology that it comes with, the, the smart delay system that we'll, we're going to explain in a little bit, um, it makes it a lot of fun to play. And the fact that the instrument is so simple to use is a joy as well. But before we really get into that and talk about the instruments and uh, and kind of take a look at the articulations, I want to give you a guide for watching this video. It's totally free and it's called my Sample Library Buyer's Guide. And essentially, it's it's really to answer the question because I get it all the time of like, Chris, what do you use in your in your productions? Like, what do you like to use? Uh, for orchestral stuff, for piano stuff, for jazz stuff, for ethnic stuff. And so I wanted to combine that all into one easy to digest guide. Uh, it's kind of categorized by prices and also the uh, orchestral sections, um, but there's also other stuff there in addition to the orchestra, right? So piano, jazz, ethnic libraries, all that good stuff. And it's pretty easy to read, honestly. It's like 30, 40 pages and it's all streamlined. You can read it within an afternoon and hopefully it'll give you a more informed decision for your next purchase. Um, it'll just let you know what I like to use and what I personally recommend if you're interested in that sort of thing. So again, it's totally free. If you want to click the first link in the box below, it'll take you straight there. So without further ado, let's talk about the Eminent Trombone. Um, again, it's the third instrument in their new standard series after the trumpet and the tenor sax. And the standout feature of these libraries is the smart delay system. So in addition to them, there being 2,000 samples per note, um, here they kind of describe the, the system of playing. So the, the smart delay basically introduces a four beat delay, which then allows the system to analyze your playing performance, your MIDI performance, and choose what legato transition to use, choose the appropriate samples to play for each note, connecting in and out of every single sample. It's a really like uh, intricate type of technology that I haven't seen before uh, for the Birth of the Trumpet library. So, um, yeah, if you haven't watched my reviews of the first two instruments, uh, definitely do that. But without further ado, let's kind of jump into the library. Uh, just just a quick reminder that at the time of this recording, this the November sale will already have been over. So the regular price is $129.99 or $130, okay? And big big thank you again to Straight Hand Samples for sending me a copy for review. Thank you, Trey. I really appreciate it as usual. Um, I love uh, playing with your stuff because it's, it's, a lot, it's very easy to use. Um, anyway let's kind of dive into the instrument. So here it is loaded up, uh, very simple as you can see. Let me just show you those three libraries. Birth of the Trumpet, Tenor Colossus, and now the Eminent Trombone. And so by default, when it loads in, it, it really lo only is one patch as you can see. So that already makes it simple. <laughs> and then um, there's there's two modes. There's the real time and then there's a the smart delay. Obviously smart delay, you see the lights brighten up and everything because that's the preferred mode they want us to use. But in real time, obviously whenever you play a note, you'll have access to the sample right away. So let's play a little bit. We'll go through the different articulations and then we'll talk about it just a little bit.
All right, so obviously you can hear that there are kind of a variety of articulations there, maybe all the necessary ones, but you're not gonna get a whole bunch of articulations that are just not needed in the jazz style. Um, and generally the, the five main articulations they give us for the core ones are legato, uh, staccato, staccatissimo, tongued, and forte piano. Forte piano is especially good for some sort of accent, right? But generally, if you're going for more of a ballad type of thing, then the legato is going to serve you pretty well. And then if you want the occasional short note, staccato would be the choice there. Staccatissimo is quite a little bit shorter than this, uh, the, the regular staccato as well. Um, the cool thing is that these upper articulations are more specialized. So I think that's why Trey separated them here. So these lower ones are kind of like the workhorse articulations, you know, the legato, staccato, staccatissimo, whereas the ones above the F, so starting from G, these are more specialized. Shakes, falls, long falls, scoops, doits, flops, uh, rips, glisses, and runs, and also the half-step bends. And so the the fact that, you know, we, we have all these key switches fitting within just one or two octaves or so, um, that already makes it very convenient. Now, obviously, the real-time playing, while it's very responsive, you can definitely hear it's pretty MIDI-like, right? It doesn't sound entirely realistic just because the, tr uh, the trombone player would have more natural connections between the notes and the actual samples themselves feel um, feel it's like they're, they're being put together, you know? Even with the different articulations being played there. So let's turn on Smart Delay now and hear the difference. Again, I'm gonna play a little bit here and the results will not be instantaneous. They will take four beats for the system to analyze my performance and then we will hear the result. So I'll play a little bit, I'll raise my hand to show you I stopped playing and then you'll hear the result from the, from the delay system. So here we go. Okay, so you can tell that the system is kind of responding equally well to my slower playing and also my faster playing. Like I was trying to keep up with the with the tempo there and it was slightly distracting just because like when I was playing something, a longer passage, the system would then kick in after four beats and it started playing stuff that I had already played. So I was trying to come up with new stuff while hearing stuff I had already just previously played. So slightly distracting, but hey, that, that's just on me. But you, you, you get the idea, right? It sounds so much more realistic. It's like it's like night and day, really. Um, you can hear the difference. And if you watch my trumpet, uh, Birth of the Trumpet review video, you'll see just like the first time I heard that impact of the smart delay, I was just blown away. And it's still, it's still you know, truly incredible to me. So I just love what it does. But anyway, um, let's hear it in practice a little bit here. So I've created a short demo track. And let's hear it first in real time. So the as soon as the MIDI uh, is being hit, you're gonna hear the sound right away. Then what we'll do is drag it back four beats and then we will hear how the smart delay fares. So let's start uh, with the real time, here we go. Right, so it sounds decent, but it still sounds pretty MIDI, right? Like it definitely sounds like a, a virtual instrument. So now let's turn on Smart Delay 
make sure we drag it back four beats and let's have a listen now. And I wanted to pull up the MIDI data to show you not only the notes that we're playing, but also the key switches. So essentially I'm kind of alternating between legato and staccato. So at the end of each phrase, I wanted a kind of a light finish. So I, I triggered the staccato key switch and then right away went back to legato. And then here you see this upper key switch that is a scoop. So let's have a listen now with Smart Delay. There we go. Anyway, eminent trombone. Um, I, I definitely think that this one is my second favorite. So I think Birth of the Trumpet is still my favorite out of these three. Um, the eminent trombone is probably my second in the list because it, it just has such a pure, clean sound. And uh, the tenor Colossus, um, it's, it's such a beautiful library as well, but saxes are so hard to sample. And there was a little uh, issue with the scoops in my review video, as you saw, but Trey has since fixed this. So I'm going to go back in and test that. But um, I'm, I'm just so looking forward to seeing what Trey does in the future. I, uh, I'm especially looking forward to the lead trumpet. Uh, he was, uh, someone has suggested that in VI control and uh, Trey mentioned that that was on the list as well. And I know he's going to do a bunch of other ones too, but um, this is already a great, great start. Like he's basically captured the core three instruments of the big band, um, given they are soloistic type of instruments, but uh, so, so that means the kind of air on the side of quiet or ballad playing, and they're kind of meant for a bluesy type of, you know, laid back type of jazz rather than being super bombastic and all out. So this, this, these types of libraries don't really contain like triple forte samples, if that's what you're looking for. If you're looking for like a triple forte uh, trumpet library, maybe look for, you know, the screaming trumpet from Realitone, but, but for like slower jazzy playing, uh, with swing, um, this is definitely the library to look at. The, this collection right here. So yeah, thank you again for watching this video. I really appreciate it. Let me know what you think. If you have this library already, are you using it in your productions? If not, are you looking forward to? And if you don't have it, is this something that kind of intrigues you uh, if you're into jazz? Um, I, I truly think that, you know, straight ahead samples has been making huge strides in the sampling market and they just happen to be in the jazz lane. But imagine applying this kind of technology to the orchestral side of things. That could be really interesting as well. So yeah, let me know what you think about the instrument in a comment below. I would love to hear. And again, before you go, I want to give you my sample library buyer's guide. It's totally free, but again, it goes over the core essential libraries that I personally recommend in uh, my daily personal use. And so I would recommend for you as well. Again, it's categorized by prices and also the different sections. So you have a very clear layout of what uh, to look for. And hopefully, you know, when you're on your next purchasing uh, adventure, maybe that guide will help you out a little bit. And I'll, I know it's already helped a lot of my students because they literally tell me all the time that, uh, you know, they, they, uh, it's nice to have those libraries kind of categorized in that way. So again, I want to give that to you as a thank you for watching this video. Take care, my friends. I'll see you in the next video and take care. Bye-bye.